Lately, I've been wondering if a synonym for the word truth might be details. You have the love of life, and then you have the details. Well, maybe truth is more than that. But it is the details of life, all of, all of them. All the form that life takes. And you might say the pattern, the patterning element that creates the detail of those forms. In this part of our life, it's this and it's not that. Can't be in two places at, the one to- at one time. If you make it like this, you can't make it like that. And the details of life end up making a difference into how life expresses and, and manifests. If you're looking for a job, sometimes they'll ask you, you know, do, do you pay, pay attention to details? Do you, you, right? That's an expression when in the employment world, paying attention to the details. There are the physical details, but beyond the physical details, there is the pattern of emerging reality that is ours to know and to bring into the world that's relevant for the world in which we live. If we're not aware of that, if we're not opening to that, then we're just taking the same old scene and mixing it around. If if there's not that, then we're not evolving. We're not becoming something because we're not open to the emerging pattern of who and what we're becoming as a human being. If we're not open to the emerging pattern of Sunrise Ranch, We're condemned to just keep repeating whatever's been happening at Sunrise Ranch in the past. And so it is for anyone. It is attention to the details of the emerging pattern, awakening to that, that allows life to flourish. We can be very loving people, or at least think we are, very loving people, but not embracing the life-giving pattern that's there for us to embrace. Now, you might say, well, who could prove that, right? Like, what that is. But leaving that aside, can, can we just agree that Our life is different when we open up to that for ourselves. And our life together is different when we open up to that for ourselves. The greatest gifts that have been brought to humankind have ultimately been the gifts of selfhood. Have have they not? The the gift has been those people who have come and in effect have said, this is who you are. This that I am is what you are. The nobility that I am knowing. The selfhood that I am knowing. The God reality that I'm knowing. This is who you are. That is the gift. But that gift is preceded by Truth. If there's an emanation of truth and love, you don't get to the self from whom it's coming with, while rejecting the truth and love that they're bringing. Is it, 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 wouldn't you say? And by the way, isn't that what happens? When someone brings a higher truth and a higher love, They may be loved in some quarters, but end up being rejected because that is a threat to the world in which we live as it is. 
But, so it is not truth. If truth is the emerging pattern of who we are as a people, as a race, and if we have a way of being embedded in how we've been, then someone who is aware of who we are becoming is a threat. And that threat is bigger to those who see it that way. It's bigger than the selfhood of the one bringing that truth. That truth is centered in the reality that our purpose here is not to create a home for ourselves. And so that truth challenges that human habit of making a home for oneself while rejecting the idea or ignoring the possibility of making a home for God. And so the, the truth of who we are becoming, what is possible to us as human beings, individually, as a community, as a race, so often gets ignored, discarded. And so the, the gift that is there for us to receive as humankind is set aside. And the results of that are easy enough to see in the world in which we live. We're here to do something different. To allow what's available to us to be fully received and to be the one who brings it into our world. <laughs>